what do you know about Buenos Aires? Well, Chrissy's in the bathroom has been there. We've never toured South America before. I have a lot of um, fans in Twitter, and they asked me for you one day. We were, we were talking about music. Yeah? Oh, yeah? We, and uh, some, some of my uh, followers were mentioning you guys. That's great. From Venezuela. So wow. I think that you have a lot of fans in Venezuela. That's awesome. It's your bad man. What made you want to buy that CD? I may have not even wanted to buy it for the music, because I was actually really into that movie. I think when I saw the movie. I had a movie, poster of that movie. I had a poster of that movie, too. And, and also, I even had a hat. Wait, did you actually like the movie when, once you saw it, or was it just the build-up? No, no, I think I liked the movie, and I probably bought the soundtrack afterwards. And then later, it was like a gateway to learn about all sorts of cool stuff. Wu-Tang, <laughs> Flaming Lips, SoCal Punk from The Offspring. Earlier Seal. <laughs> <laughs> Earlier seal. I mean, most people consider that the greatest soundtrack of all time, so. <laughs> Not a bad first buy, if I do say so myself. So are you planning to go to um, South America someday? Hopefully next year. 2011. 2011. We would really love to, definitely. Okay. Do you know where already? We'll probably play, I bet, in Chile, Argentina, Brazil. The only part of Latin America we ever toured is Mexico, but that was great. It's amazing. We love Latin culture, Latin music. Any yeah. chance that you would speak in Spanish or have your songs translated ever? We, I would, I would like to. We, uh, Chris studied Spanish a little, a little bit. bit. I have Hola, Chris. ¿Cómo estás? Bueno. Bien, bien, bien. bien, bien, bien. bien. It's been uh, eight years. You didn't pass the test. Forget it. Come on, he keeps talking here. Nah, nah. Spanish is my number one language that I would like to learn. Uh -huh. Sadly, I, I pretty much only speak English. But you know, obviously, in America, Latin culture is very prevalent. You guys know that, right? Yeah, of course. I'm into Twitter. I'm not into Facebook, because Facebook is owned by the CIA. Everyone should know that. Follow the money, kids. Follow the money. <laughs> Always follow the money. Got some knowledge on you. Actually, all three of us are on. All three of us are on Twitter. And Chris, who's still in the bathroom, this is getting. This is frankly getting a little ridiculous. I'm. Actually, can we get an intern to go just knock on the door, just ask if he's okay? He's not on Twitter, which may maybe has something to do with his uh, his recent problems. <laughs> What's the weirdest place we've Twittered from? Germany. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's not a joke. Germany. <laughs> so how old are you guys? Like, you look 25, 26. Actually, it's his birthday tomorrow. Oh, it is? Yeah. Believe it. 26. It's good. You still look like you're like 16. So Thank you. Cool. It's getting closer to retirement age. <laughs> 29. 29, that's when you're cutting it off. Gotta walk away. There's a fourth person. Yeah, he's still in the bathroom. He's still there. <laughs> I've been here for a couple it hours. Like, wait, it must be like the Mexican food. Like, <laughs> no, no, we're just re eating Mexican food. I think it was the uh, Arby's. Oh, they are the Arby's downstairs. Oh, yeah. He ate a giant market fresh Arby's sandwich <laughs> with fries. And I'm not saying it came from that, but immediately afterwards he had bad stomach pain. Four hours ago. This Four works. hours ago. He's been in the bathroom at CNN on Espanol the entire time. So I'm not telling, you know, make up your own mind about Arby's. I'm just relating an anecdote, something that happened to somebody that's very close to us. Okay. They have Arby's in Latin America? We do have a lot of pranks. I tried to convince everyone in the band that, that our manager had set me up for an audition to be the new lead singer of Led Zeppelin. I think it's important if you really want to trick people. Details. Use details. Hola, yo soy Chris Bale. Soy Rustam. Hola, soy Chris Thompson. Soy Ezra. Y somos Vampire Weekend. Y ya volvemos con Boombox All Access. Hi, I'm regular Chris. I'm Ezra. I'm Bathroom Chris. And I'm Rustam. And we're Vampire Weekend. And you're watching Boombox All Access. Go ahead, stick around. <laughs> they already changed the channel by that point, man. I'm sentimental, driving around, 
Sure. When we heard you guys were coming, we asked our community to ask questions for you guys, and, and we got a lot of great responses. And, cool. Uh, cool. So we're going to play some of these questions for you guys, and and, uh, and you'll, you'll answer them. Sounds great. Hello, Vampire Weekend. My question is, what is your take on piracy in the music industry? Does it help you as a band, or does it hurt you as a band? <laughs> All right. Well, I think we, we all grew up in the age of downloading music uh, illegally. I personally believe that if you want music to be free, it should be. But uh, at the same time, we've certainly made money from selling albums. I guess I just, I, I, I would be happy to leave it up to our fans to decide. Compound to compound, lazy and safe. I was at my parents' house and the movie Lost Boys came on TV, and uh, I was very inspired by it, and I decided I should make my own vampire movie. I had very limited resources at the time, so I got some friends, took the camcorder, ran around in the backyard, and started making a film called Vampire Weekend. Um, we didn't get to finish it, but a few years later, I, I was looking at the footage, and it was around the time the band was starting, so I decided to call the band Vampire Weekend, and we thought maybe we'd change it, but it stuck. Hey guys, my name's Dimmy. Um, your music always seems to have some sort of, you know, underlying sexual theme behind it. And I was wondering, is that intentional or is that just, is that just how my mind perceives it? I think sometimes the lyrics are ambiguous, but sometimes there have been like maybe a tiny bit more specific references to sex. And almost every pop song is about sex, but then like, Sometimes in like country music, they say, you know, making love or like spending the night together. And you know, we're so used to hearing songs that use euphemisms for sex that you kind of like forget what they're actually talking about. You know, it's, it's, people use the word love a lot when they mean sex, which uh, could be confusing for a teenager. I think maybe <laughs> you should just be more clear about it. <laughs> well, I think also a, a lot of the lyrics mention sleeping with someone, which, you know, that can be sex. Sometimes just sleeping next to someone can be better than sex, so. Yeah, spooning is really blown up in the best thing. Spooning, yeah. <laughs> you wanna weigh in on this? Yeah, spooning is awesome. On tour, whatever, on the bus, <laughs> it's really nice. We don't speak Spanish, but he does. I really, that was one of the most embarrassing moments of my entire life when I said bueno instead of bien. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to recover from that. <laughs> he was, he made me so nervous. I heard you guys killed it though. You really killed it over at CNN Espanol. Yeah. We had a good time, we made some friends. It was nice. When I met Carolina Escobar, it was oh. my favorite part. That was my favorite part too. When I was in high school, I used to have a picture of her in my locker, stuff like that, so it was pretty cool to meet her in person. Do you guys have time for one more question? Sure. As long as it's about spooning. <laughs> I think we'll go with uh, Gabby from San Francisco. Hi, I'm Gabby. I have a three-part question. The first part is, do you prank each other? The second part is, uh, what's the biggest prank that has been pulled? And the third part is, who's the biggest prank? Thank you. Bye. We do have a lot of pranks, but I, I feel like they're almost too bad to even <laughs> talk about. I tried to convince everyone in the band that that our manager had set me up for an audition to be the new lead singer of Led Zeppelin. <laughs> And it all the <laughs> that's, that's true. Not well. I don't think I was there when it happened. But you convinced Chris and CT was in the bathroom that you've been on uh, Family Ties. <laughs> that I had an alias named uh, Ralphie, Ralphie Com Compton. Ralphie yeah. Compton. And that I'd been on uh, Family Ties, and, and I had a vivid memory of Michael Jack or <laughs> not Michael Jack, <laughs> Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Fox uh, comforting me when I was nervous about shooting and giving me a coke. <laughs> I think it's important if you really want to trick people. Details. Use details, yeah. We did a major interview about soccer. With who? Aisha Sisha. Yeah, she's a woman from Atlanta. Who's she rooting for in the World Cup, too, though? I don't know, but she seemed to think that America was in the World Cup. <laughs> True story. You're Chris Thompson. I'm Chris Thompson. I'm Chris Thompson. <laughs> Are we doing it in English? Yeah, in English. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so everybody's Chris Thompson or no, no, no. <laughs> I'm Chris Thompson. Okay. Well, if you want to make your own movie, 
don't worry about if the special effects are good. In the original Vampire Weekend, all the vampires were, were werewolf masks, because that's all that we had. It was somewhat confusing, I think, for the viewers, but you know what? That's how we wanted it to be. Me? I have to say all that? 28 years, you said. Oh, my god. Let's do no. it. Do you need a refresher? No, no, wait a second. No. <laughs> You can always use ketchup or tomato sauce for blood. You don't have to use real blood. Um, for sound effects, you could, you know, get a couple friends to make sound effects. You know, you don't have to pay them. Pretty soon you put it on YouTube, that's free. Um, and next thing you know, you got an avatar on your hands. I got wheels, I got color spray and Boom. Box. Box. All all access. Okay. Only on Boomerang. Only <laughs> on Boomerang. I've been doing this for 28 years with a prompter. That's the prompter. Okay, all right. Thank you.